Telehealth Training Program has helped us be updated on the current guidelines and policies in the treatment and management among people living with HIV in our facility. Because of HTTP, our service became more holistic in the sense that there are some issues in HIV management that has been tackled deeper before like CNS infections and mental health. Out of the box challenges that we are more cautious such as ART initiation and the scope of IRS. After the training, we are more equipped with HIV AIDS updates and information, thus making us more competent in giving our clients comprehensive quality healthcare services. The greatest advantage of HTPP is its convenience as we can have trainings at the comfort of our facility. It is, it is cost effective and only needs reliable internet connection. Above all that, we are given the chance to be mentored and collaborate with several experts during the live sessions. The most impactful and advantages with this HTTP training is being at the comfort of your clinic and at your center while attending the session. Unlike with the usual uh, attending of seminars wherein we stay for three days, being away with our family and of course with our private practice. And the fact that if you miss one session, you have this makeup class which you can watch later at home or whenever you are not busy. I don't think there are any challenges at all. In fact, the training is not stressful. It is enjoyable. We enjoyed this high-tech mode of training. We have bonding moments during telehealth sessions, and we are able to share different experiences in handling our HIV clients. We had challenge in focusing during the actual lectures since we are an LGU-driven facility. We have no noon break, and we still have the need to attend to the needs of the clients as they come and go. One thing is there are moments that the internet connection is unstable. Good thing that the facility itself has a connection as a buffer in case of intermittent signal. The teleconferencing tool is easy to use even for beginners according to our IT. The biggest challenge is how to apply all the information that we got from the lectures in making a good service delivery for our clients. continually provide quality treatment, care, and support services uh, to people living with HIV while adhering with the current uh, DOH policies and guidelines in providing health services, particularly the new policies and guidelines on the use of antiretroviral therapy among PLHIV and uh, HIV-exposed infants. I hope that after this pilot batch, there will be continuity of this method to other health facility, health system, or government system so that others can also benefit. Moreover, this method will be used in other health programs provided they take into consideration the health care provider's lunch break. <laughs> and that the implementers will develop ways in making this a very good national learning tool for health providers. After this training, we are looking to apply all the knowledge we have learned in handling more complicated cases. As you experience telehealth training, you'd like to replicate this model to spread on our HIV AIDS control program and other health programs as well. I look forward to use telehealth to connect to our PLHIV clients who happens to be somewhere and unable to travel to the clinic. It's high time to use this kind of video conferencing technology to our advantage, be it for training, monitoring, and evaluation, and even networking. After HTTP, I look forward to a more collaborative uh, effort with all the primary satellite treatment, and of course, the treatment hubs in uh, managing PLHIV, especially all of those 
uh, difficult to handle pill HIV patients. At first, it may take time for future trainees to adjust to modernized method of training. However, I believe health providers are competent enough to cope with this changing and merging needs to learn. Future batches of HTTP will be more receptive to this method of training if this will be scheduled after work. Doing this during working hours may diminish the focus of participants leading to poor outcomes. So we already endorse HTTP to other healthcare facilities and they are really interested in the training program. We at LMC hope that they will enjoy it as much as we did. I strongly believe that the HTTP will guide the future facilities managing both basic and complex cases of HIV through the most innovative process. We're living in a technology-driven world and internet connection gets better and we think that other healthcare facilities can accommodate this since every facility has computers and everyone has mobile devices. Future trainees will surely accommodate HTTP with open arms and willingly embrace this modern method of training in the Philippines. Uh, being a modern method of learning, I think this will be highly uh, appreciated by everybody. This will give us a chance to get uh, more relevant information from experts and this is without spending a lot to, for travel and accommodation. The same way that I uh, reacted the first time I was uh, invited to participate, full of enthusiasm. And I hope all of the participants that you will be uh, inviting would feel the same way too. I'm Dr. Rose Makulangan Alday, the HIV AIDS core team chairperson, and uh, at the same time, the HIV treatment hub physician of Batangas Medical Center. I'm Dr. Donna Catherine Ortiz, the treatment hub physician of Laguna Medical Center. Hi, my name is Dr. Aurora P. Ferrer of Muntinlupa Reproductive Health and Wellness Clinic. I'm Dr. Michelangelo J. Marquez. I'm the social hygiene physician of Bacoor City. Hi, I am Dr. Ferdinand Lina, a social hygiene physician from Inus Reproductive and Wellness Center. To the future HTTP trainees, you will absolutely enjoy this type of learning program and become more competent just at the comfort of your own health facility. Again, enjoyed it as much as we did. Thank you. We encourage future trainees to find time and attend this kind of training. HTTP is a convenient method of school. Yes, I agree. Any health worker may increase their knowledge and skills even with limited resources. To the future HTTP trainees, I hope you enjoy the learning process. The topics may seem overwhelming at first, but with the help of the expert lecturers, understanding it won't be too difficult. To the future HIV telehealth training programs attendees, this kind of innovation will equip you in dealing with PLHIB clients. It will help you a lot in many different ways and you will become more knowledgeable to the possible cases that you will encounter in the future. To all of you, future attendees, may God bless you all and good luck. All I can say to the future attendee and trainee, be a part of HTTP. It will help you a lot to be more knowledgeable and be more systematic in implementing the challenge to HIV program with the use of the latest technology. For the future trainees, we will highly endorse this program. Many health workers will be able to access the latest information on HIV management without the hassle of going to conventions. HTTP is very recommendable. There's a lot of thing, things that we can learn, uh, especially through HIV topic. 
to all HTCP trainee, I recommend this lecture to all non-medical and medical practitioners because it gained a lot of knowledge. For the next batch of HTTP trainees, we would like to encourage everyone to complete all the sessions because it's very interactive and you can definitely have a lot of knowledge acquired after each session. Um, it will be a new diversion for which a lot of our professionals, medical doctors, who, can, uh, who have the knowledge and give their expertise in regard to different programs, especially HIV and AIDS, and we would like to congratulate CHIP for spearheading this specific program. Congrats. From Matangas Medical Center, thank you so much, HTTP. From San Pablo City Social Hygiene Clinic, thank you very much, HTTP. From Laguna Medical Center, thank you so much, HTTP. From Matangas Social Hygiene Clinic, thank you so much, HTTP. We learned a lot from you. From Muntinlupa City, thank you HTTP and good luck to everyone. From the Core Social Hygiene Clinic, thank you so much HTTP. From Imus Reproductive and Wellness Center, thank you HTTP, mabuhay kayo.